Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to crochet the bubble border stitch pattern, which looks pretty much the same on both sides. It's a stitch multiple of 3 plus 1, so your top edge should be counted as 3, 3, 3, and then you'll need one more stitch on the other side to make this work. To start this edging, you'll need to make a slip knot, and then you'll take your work and decide where you want to begin your edging. In my case, I'm starting on the right hand side. You'll make a single crochet right into the very first stitch to begin the border. And after every single crochet in this pattern, follow it with a chain one. Now, where we place our crochet hook throughout this pattern is important so that we don't stretch the single crochet stitch out too much. We'll place our hook directly in the center of the single crochet, not the top, but through the center of it directly. Since we'll be eventually placing the top of the puff stitch over three stitches, we should draw up our loop long enough so that it reaches to the third stitch over. Now, for this puff stitch, we'll make a yarn over and then insert our crochet hook right through the single crochet stitch we just made and then draw up a loop. And as you might have seen, my yarn split a little bit, which is common when trying to do puff stitches. Also, if your single crochet stitch was made too tightly, you might have a problem getting your hook in the middle of it. You might need to go back and make a looser single crochet stitch so that you are able to put all of the loops inside of it. Once you have finished the seven loops, make a yarn over and draw through all of them on the hook. Then rather quickly, make a chain one to hold everything in place. Next, we count over three stitches. And in that third stitch, we'll make a single crochet stitch which secures the top of the puff stitch to the edging. And we'll follow that single crochet immediately with the chain one. For our second puff stitch, we'll follow pretty much the same procedure. We'll lift our loop about the length of three stitches, and then we'll yarn over and insert our hook into the center of the single crochet we just made and draw up a loop. We'll do this yarn over and draw up loop process for a total of seven times. Next, yarn over and draw through all of the loops on your hook and follow it with the chain one. Then we'll count over three stitches and make a single crochet in that third stitch over, followed by a chain one. You'll continue this process across the entire row. As you can see, I've made puff stitches along my top row. It's up to you how you want to handle the corners. I like to make full seven puff stitches in the corner, but you can make a smaller one if you wish. I then make the single crochet in the very same corner stitch, so the top and bottom of the puff stitch are in the same corner. Then I rotate my work to the other side and proceed to work alongside the next edging. I follow the process of creating the puff stitch and counting over three stitches, then making a single crochet and chain one. And that's it. That's how I crochet the bubble border pattern.